Excellent. Let's get started. So thank you, Prit, on joining on this Microsoft 365 feature demo series. I don't know what we call this demo series. Doesn't really matter. Uh, but we always introduce uh, new features and capabilities what we are releasing across the Microsoft 365. And this time we are talking about the Viva Amplify. So Prit, let's start with the basics. Who, who are you, and what is Viva Amplify? Actually, that's a good question for those who might not know. Great. Thank you, Vesa. Thanks for having me today. Um, so I'm Britt Boston, and I am a PM on the Viva Amplify uh, engineering team. And Viva Amplify is a, a communications tool um, that allows you to create and publish communications to your employees across multiple channels um, and get reporting across those channels, et cetera. So it's a really excellent corporate communications tool. And now I have to immediately ask, um, going outside of the scripts immediately. So what's the difference between Viva Amplify and SharePoint then? Because with SharePoint, I can create articles mm. as well. Sure. Um, so Viva Amplify allows folks to come together and um, review um, communications, draft communications together. You can uh, send those communications out for approvals. Um, so there's a workflow as established with it. You can also schedule when things get published. Um, but one of the things that's unique is that it allows you, like I said, to, to draft that communication once and then publish it across multiple channels, including SharePoint. Yep. So you could publish to SharePoint, you could publish to Teams, uh, to Outlook, um, and coming soon to Viva Engage. Cool. A lot of, lot of different opportunities. So centralized, really targeted for corporate communications as the centralized tool to publish things. Is that the right yes. way of saying that? Yeah, cool. definitely. We do also expect that, of course, um, you know, support you know people that do communications for leaders um, could use this um, and actually even um, individuals that are wanting to share project updates or things like that they could also use yep. this tool so it really um, is designed to have the powerful capabilities that a corporate communicator would need but we also want it to be simple and easy to use that um, even an individual who just wants to share you know an update on the work that they're doing with their team um, could use it as well yeah, I've, I've used it internally. It's, it is a brilliant tool. So, so mm. it's good that we're getting more and more material out of it. Now, today we're going to talk about the Copilot Deployment Kit. What, what is mm -hmm. the Copilot Deployment Kit for Aviva Amplify? Great, great question. So the Copilot Deployment Kit is a pre-built campaign in Viva Amplify. Um, so basically what we've done is we've uh, drafted for you the uh, campaign brief with um, objectives and key messages, as well as a series of communications. So they're like a ready to send campaign. You can just um, go in and you create the campaign and then you can just view and edit those communications and send them out to the channels that you want to publish through. So really just trying to save folks time. Um, it is designed um, to help support your rollout and uh, deployment adoption of Copilot for Microsoft 365. So these communications yep. are really targeted um, for that use case. Cool. That sounds really mm -hmm. exciting. I, we know that a lot of customers are right now adapting uh, via my co-pilot, uh, and it's important that we have that communication in place. Now, let's actually move into a live demo. I think it's easier to then understand okay. what is a campaign, what does it mean, and what are we actually providing as a starting point. So let's, let's adjust our setup a bit and have a look on what it is. Great. Awesome. All right. So this is the Viva Amplify app. So on this main campaign page, which is where you land when you come into Amplify, you'll see um, this new banner at the top. It says, hey, are you ready to deploy Copilot for Microsoft 365? And you can use this pre-built campaign to drive awareness and engagement. So it's very easy. All you have to do is click get this campaign. You'll be asked to um, set up a the campaign, you kind of go into the regular flow that you do when you are creating a campaign. Um, so update the title. You can set up this campaign in um, all the different languages that we have. I think there's 55 languages that are available. So when you do that, all the content um, gets uh, translated into all those languages. And then you can add your members. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna pick... Uh, pick um, Isaiah and then you just click to set up the campaign and so this can take um, a little bit of time but one thing to note as we build those um, those communications on the back end is that this content is based off of um, how Microsoft internally rolled out Copilot and so yep. we've also looked at with our early adopter customers 
uh, the content and how to structure these communications to drive that rollout and adoption. Cool. Really, very cool. Okay, so you can see that now this campaign has been created. And you can already see down here at the bottom there, there's some communications there. But first, I want to show you the campaign brief. And again, just to let you know that we've already provided some information here on kind of the purpose of this campaign, the objectives, um, who you might want to involve, as well as the key messages. So it gives um, folks um, that might be coming into this campaign an idea of what are the key messages that we're trying to land through these communications. It also shows you um, of those different eight communications, kind of the key uh, message and what they're targeted at. So it gives you a summary of that. Um, and then some additional supporting data at the bottom in case that's um, other messages that you want to highlight um, in these communications. All right, so then if you go to the publications tab, um, like I mentioned, you'll see eight pre-drafted publications. So it starts with a publication to really help your um, employees get ready for Copilot. Um, and then we have a launch communication, and that's followed by five um, app-specific communications. So there's one targeted at how to use Copilot in Teams, Word, PowerPoint, Outlook, and Excel, and, um, and then followed up by one that's how to use Copilot to help address some complex work problems. Yep. And so I'll just show you what one of those looks like. Um, and this is sort of a, a kind of a typical format that they fall into. Um, you'll see at the top that there is a video, so it's a short video, some engaging content there. And then um, there's these stackable sets of information uh, with some sample prompts to try. So it's very actionable uh, type of information for your end users to get an idea of how they can really practically start using Copilot um, in their daily work. And then down at the bottom, you'll just see that there's some additional resources in each of these communications for the Copilot Lab and the capabilities page um, that help to give them some instructions on like how to um, better refine your prompts or what's the, you know, how do you structure a good effective prompt, etc. So some really great resources there. And then that's really about it. If you go back to that campaign, um, you can edit those communications and send them out through whatever channels you select. Um, like I mentioned before, you can send it out through Outlook, Teams, and SharePoint, um, and yeah. soon engage. And that's really that's actually it. really cool. Before we before we could talk about the future on here, I, I love the fact that we're not just providing a product and technology and a platform, but we are also providing content. I'm an ex-consultant, uh, recovering con consultant mm. is probably the right way of saying that, but but providing that ready to use <laughs> content for customers, for change management purposes, this is actually really, really smart and it, it's incredibly valuable. So it's not just uh, enabling the technical thing, it's also providing the example content. Exactly. Yeah, this um, we're, you know, the feedback so far from folks that have been using this is that it's just super helpful, saves them a bunch of time, right, not having to draft that content themselves. Of course, you can edit yeah. it, but really helpful to not have to start from scratch um, yep. with all of this. Yeah, makes perfect sense. Really, really cool. Awesome, awesome direction where we're heading as Microsoft as well and or as an ODSP as providing also content and, and valuable starting points. Now, um, what, what about the future? What's what's happening within the Viva, uh, Viva Amplify uh, in the future? Any teasers? Are we going to have more campaigns and ready to use content for people to take advantage? We're, yeah, yeah, we're looking at um, some additional pre-built campaigns. Um, of course, we're looking at how maybe Copilot can help you with that. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, we're looking at including Engage as a channel that you can publish through. So those are yeah. some really top requests from customers. And so, uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking at that. But we've heard such positive feedback about this pre-built campaign that we're looking at some additional ways to, to provide um, more of that in the future. Yeah, just saying for the record as well. So it would be really cool if it would open up uh, the campaigns to be able to, you know, partners and consultants to actually provide them as well, so that they could actually sell campaign packages for their customers yes. and all of that. So it would be it, interesting direction. I mean, we might be investing there in the future. Who knows? But <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely top of mind. Um, yes. I've definitely heard from several partners that that would be a, a great opportunity for them, um, and so we definitely want to support that as well. So that is on our backlog. 
Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Thank you, Prit, uh, on joining. Really cool capability and an awesome lot of lot of value for uh, customers to take advantage. And and like you said, these are starting points. So the, you could take and modify the content based on their preference and adjustments. So awesome, awesome work. Thank you for this one. Yeah, you bet. Thank you, Vesa. Thank you.